Alrighty boys, the first update that actually adds stuff to Need for Speed is here. I'm here to get you all up to speed with Need for Speed Heat. We're going to be talking about the future of Need for Speed. What's to expect, future DLCs, you get the point. Before we do any of that, let's talk about what's been added into the game with the recent update and let's get it out of the way. Two new neons along with two horns got added into the game. That's how the first neon looks like. And this is the second one, as you can see, it's good, but it's nothing to get excited about. Anyway, screen has gone black, so look at yourself and subscribe. Also, while you're at it, make sure to like the video. Also, the pole star one that should have been from the start of the game has recently got added into the game, and it cost 1.4 million dollars. Honestly, it should have been here from the start of the game, but it's sad that it wasn't. But you know the sad part? It's not even that great. I'm sorry Need for Speed, never thought I would have to say anything like this for a cover card. This car even upgraded, doesn't even go to level 400. Luckily there's a lot of engine swaps that can be swapped into the car. Swapping the engine allows you to hit 400 plus, but seriously, it's a cover card. Shouldn't it be better than this? Also if we get it out on the road, it's rather disappointing. And it's slow and I don't know, there's something wrong about this car. I modded the case edition Polestar 1 on PC a week before and honestly that feels so much better and more rewarding because I had to mod it into the game. Also that annoying glitch when you are rolling with the cops in a pursuit you'd get busted well that's fixed. Speed wall not speed list got added into the game. I mean it also should have been from the start but hey there's also a lot of bug fixes which is normal. Alright enough catching up. So far there's been a lot of leaks about new cars that's gonna be added soon with the new update and apparently the next update is gonna be huge. So far we know there's gonna be an Eclipse, GSX, RX-8 and and an S14 that's gonna be added on the next update. It's all over the Need for Speed subreddit and apparently the RX-8 is also getting scanned so that might be a huge possibility of getting an RX-8 into the game if that makes any sense. Also the speed list might get added as well with the new update. We actually need that because there's nothing to do on Heat right now. I play Heat just to test out new cars and take pictures of it for my Instagram account. If you guys didn't know, a cheeky plug, follow at the rate all about Need for Speed. I regularly post pictures there, so if you guys want to get some spicy pictures, that's the place. But I guess that's all the information that we have on Need for Speed Heat and Christmas DLC. I don't know, that was rather disappointing. If you guys want another Supra video, that's gonna be on Forza Horizon 4. I mean, that actually is on Forza Horizon 4 at this point. But if you guys want to see a video of it or a live stream, feel free to tell me on the comment section. That's gonna be pretty much it for me. It's been your boy Gazzy Pro, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Let's wrap it up here and peace out, boys.